Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is Friday and we're just staying home today. I was out yesterday and the day before. Yesterday we lost power for like six hours. So we had been to my mom's house swimming the day before that and then yesterday was supposed to be, I wanted to stay home and like catch up on laundry and cleaning and stuff like that. Then we lost power and I couldn't open the fridge. I couldn't really feed the kids or anything. So we ended up going to my mom's house again and spending a few hours there. Finally, the power came back on around four, like a quarter after four, and then we were able to come home and have dinner and everything. Um, but yeah, so yesterday, so two days in a row I wasn't home, so today I'm just kind of staying home, catching up on a lot of laundry, and see, if I don't do laundry for like a day, it piles up so fast, so yeah. It's quiet time right now, and I've been waiting for quiet time so I could do this peacefully. I got some new chair sliders for the bottom of my kitchen chairs. I talked about this in another video, but they have like rubber on the bottom so they don't slide very nice. They're pretty loud and, and annoying and I, I kept putting like the felt sliders on the bottom of them, like the sticky ones, but they keep falling off and a few of you guys actually suggested to hot glue them on in like one of my other videos. So I did that, I tried that, I hot glued them all on and it did help them stay on like longer but they all still fell off. Um, most of them fell off. There were a couple that, you know, got like pushed out of place and I like peeled them off or whatever, but none of them stayed where they were supposed to. So I got something different. I got these on Prime Day, actually, like after, after I showed you the stuff I got on Prime Day, I ordered something else. So I got these and they're one piece and they go like over the chair. You know what I mean? So we'll see how these are. These were like, I don't know, like $15 or something, I think. And there's 16 of them, so. I am going to put those on right now and hope for the best. Fingers crossed this works. Um, they are a little bit big because they were out of the size that I needed and the one size below was too small. And this size is just like a tiny bit over my measurement. So I don't know, hopefully it'll be okay. days after the last clip that you saw where I put the chair sliders on the chairs. Actually, I don't even know if I have a real beginning to this vlog. I don't know what my first clip was. So we'll see how this goes <laughs> when I'm editing. Um, but I still like the chair sliders. Haven't had any problems with them. So, so far, it's a thumbs up. But we will we'll keep watching it. Um, but today, we're going to stay home. Yesterday, I took the kids to my mom's house and they went swimming and I got the back of my hair trimmed up. It feels so sharp and spiky. I got it shaved or like with the trimmers, the, the clippers, that's what it's called. I went with a one this time. I used to do a two. Um, so I did a one underneath and it feels so cool. Um, I don't think I'll ever like not have the back shaved. I have to show you. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that is what that looks like and it's so much fun to have the back of it cut. It always feels so nice and fresh and sharp when I get it done and like, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to not have that because my hair is like so thick and heavy and that just like cuts off like almost half of my hair in the back. So it makes a big difference if you have really thick hair. I don't know why like a hairdresser or anybody who I ever complained to about like how much hair I have and how thick it is and heavy, like no one ever suggested like buzzing the underneath like doing an undercut and yeah it's been like life-changing <laughs> um but anyway what was i saying yeah yesterday we went to my mom's house and went swimming and got this done and madison got her hair cut a little bit um but today we're gonna stay home and i'm gonna do some cleaning and some laundry and 
Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hot out, so I think maybe I'll put the splash pad outside for Paisley and just hang out at home. But she's actually napping right now. Um, I don't know how long I have, but I'm gonna try to get something done, some cleaning of some sort, so let's go see what I find to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm upstairs in the boys' room, and I am maybe going to try to clean out this window track. Let me show you. I've never done this since we moved in. I did the other one. I think I did his other... I did one of them or two of them. I don't know, but I never got to this one. So it's really, really bad. Yeah, there's even like... I don't know what that is. Some kind of dead bug in there. It's disgusting. And there's like dirt all along here. These are like the weirdest windows ever. They're so old. It's like... There's two windows here, this and this, and then there's two more windows here, <laughs> this one and then one on the other side, and then there's the screen. And I really don't know how I'm going to clean these without being able to get the windows out. I think they might come out, but I'm scared that if I take them out, I'm not going to be able to get them back in. So, I don't know. I, like, who designed this? What the heck? Who thought this was a good idea? Like, yeah, let's just put like 50 million grooves in the window so it can just trap dirt inside and it's impossible to clean. Like, what? Anyway, that's what I'm gonna try to do. So we'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh, it came right out. Okay, well, at least this one did. Okay. Ugh. This can get washed outside later. Uh, Alright, well I'm gonna leave this and clean this and then, like, I'm scared to take these out. Oh, these come right out too. Well, I'll get this part done, because I have the air on. So, I don't want it to get too hot in here. I'll get this part done and then later my mom is coming over, so maybe she'll be able to watch the kids downstairs and Paisley and everything. And I can come up here and finish this, but we'll work on this for right now. What the heck is that? Wait, what do you want me to do now? Huh? Go to cleaning video in your room. Yep. So, whenever I'm cleaning window tracks, I just take a brush or whatever, sometimes a tiny, like, scraper tool and just try to loosen up everything in the track and then I vacuum out as much as I can and then I'll clean it you know with like a cloth and whatever cleaner I want to use probably just water it's very disgusting yeah Okay, I have to show you this. I have this little tool that came with a set of cleaning brushes and I've never really used it for much, but I just used it in this little groove right here. It's very satisfying, so let's see. Ooh, look at that. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Yo.
Okay, so I'm finished with the window. No, well, no, I'm not finished. I'm almost partly finished <laughs> with the window upstairs in the boys' room. Um, I did the two, like, front windows or whatever. Then there's, like, two more that I have to do. Um, I have to wash them outside, and then I'll be done. I cleaned out the tracks and everything, so I will show you that soon, or maybe I'll just, like, put that over talking. Um, but, yeah, that was a job. It took me, like, at least, at least two hours, I think, I was working at like bits and pieces here and there but it definitely took a long time because it was so dirty and I try to get in like every little groove and why is it so bright? I try to get in like every little nook and cranny and I get kind of like obsessive over it uh, but it's also fun for me so I was having a good time doing that uh, but yeah that, that looks so much better now uh, and hopefully it won't ever get that bad again. Um, now I think I did one other window in the boys room but the one where like their air conditioner is in right now. I never did that one. So that one's gonna have to wait for the fall because their air conditioner is like all taped up, like taped against the window to kind of like hold it in there. <laughs> um, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a window air conditioner. It's not like hanging out the window or anything. It's a portable air conditioner. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like all, all in there right now. So I'm gonna have to wait for the fall to do that window. But that was a lot of fun, um, but now it's, dinner time and I have like no food here to make anything for dinner. I had something that I was going to make but I actually don't have noodles for it so um, we're just going to do a whatever for dinner tonight. I'm making myself some chicken nuggets because I'm really hungry. Making some chicken nuggets. Stop, they can't see stuff when you put it that close buddy. And rice and there's green beans and yeah. Kitchen. Kitchen's all done. Everybody's still awake because Greg is outside with the chickens. He usually lets them out of their coop around like 7 o'clock. He doesn't like to let them out during the day like around the yard because he's scared of like hawks coming down and like grabbing our chickens. So they usually just come out around 6.30 or 7 um, and they'll stay out until it gets dark and then they'll like go back in their thing by themselves. But very exciting. Greg just found our first egg in the coop actually. Um, so yeah, we got our first egg, yay! Pretty soon I won't have to buy eggs. Let me show you. Don't worry. Here is our first chicken egg. Yep, it's tan. I think some of our chickens will lay different colored eggs, so we'll see what else we find. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm just gonna get everybody, everybody to bed. I'm gonna go to bed and I'm trying to get to bed earlier for two reasons. Number one, so that I can stop snacking at nighttime. I figure if I go to bed before I can eat anything, <laughs> then I won't eat anything. The chickens are outside like fighting right now. We're trying to get the two new chickens that we have integrated with our other three chickens and they still don't like each other yet. So hopefully they figure that out soon so they can get out of the basement. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh, yeah, I'm trying to go to bed earlier so I can stop eating at nighttime and also so that I can hopefully get up earlier in the morning. I'm really trying to get myself into a routine of getting up before the kids, like an hour before the kids, but Paisley wakes up around 7, so that means I'd have to get up around 6. And normally I would be fine like getting up, but I keep it dark in the room because she's in our room still and I don't want her waking up at like 5.30 when the sun comes up. So I keep it dark in there. And then that makes it hard for me to get up in the morning because it's so dark in there. But I think what I'm going to do is start opening the curtains and hopefully, you know, I'll just wake up because it'll be getting brighter out and she won't really wake up or if she does hopefully i'll just be able to like close the curtain and just tell her to go back to sleep and i don't know that's my hope that if she does wake up she'll go back to sleep um but yeah i really want to start getting up earlier i think that would really help my my mental health i guess to just have a little bit of time in the morning before everybody gets up instead of like getting up to my kids every day like instead of waking up to them i wake up before them so anyway that's the plan. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up if you did and leave a sunflower in the comments if you're still here. And I'll see you guys all for my next video. Bye.